Chris Ockley here at the 2011 uh, St. Louis Suburban South Conference meet in uh, Kirkwood City Park with uh, Alyssa as we'll move this way so we can hear a little bit better. But uh, with individual girls champion Alyssa Jones from Rockwood Summit, the junior, tell me uh, how things went today for you. I know you um, had won last year, so we're looking for two in a row and we're able to pull that off. Tell me a little bit about that. She had a really good kick at the end, so it really helped to push me through to the number one spot. Tell me, uh, I missed the beginning, but tell me how the, did you try to pull away, get a bit of a lead early, or um, who I took the lead, and yeah. what happened the first mile or two? Yeah, I usually go out at a pretty fast start because um, I want to try to get out of the crowd and not get all tangled up. Yeah. So then from there, just try to keep it up. Right, right. Um, um, what? Did you did you were you did you feel pretty comfortable the whole way or uh, I know a couple of people fell. Tell me a little bit about. Yeah, like uh, the course like is a great course. I've like you know been doing ankle twists several times, but yeah. nothing awful. The last mile with that hill and the finish uphill. I mean, it wasn't awful, but it didn't make it easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it been like this? I know last year, the last couple of years, you've had another. Uh, a great runner to run with, Jenny Guevara, who's now at SEMO. Tell me what it's like not uh, with her gone now. It's totally different. Like, Jenny, she's always by my side, and now she's not there. One of the best one-two punches in the state last year, for sure, so. It's definitely weird, but, I mean, I know that, I mean, it's going to be my time someday, and I know that she she's doing great at SEMO now, so yeah. you just kind of have to move on and just be thankful for what you have. Yeah. Now I know uh, you'll face a lot of these teams next week at district. It's a pretty tough district. Tell me uh, what your thoughts are going into that and uh, how the team will try to go all out and try to get out yeah, to sectionals. Definitely, like we're definitely going to go for a team of sectionals. That's like our goal. And we all just really want to run for ourselves and for our team. What, like, then doesn't matter who's there, just try to get our personal best and yeah. do the best we can. Yeah. Well, you've had a good season. What's uh, any any specific goals you want to share, or what, going forward with a couple of three weeks left of the season? Yeah, I just like to get up to state and hopefully play pretty high up the next. Yeah. You think you'll try to run any of the post? Have you thought about running any of the postseason races? I have, but I don't think I will. Yeah. Um, I do swimming. So oh, okay. I'll probably prepare that last week for swimming. Yeah. But you never know. We'll see. Yeah. What's uh, what what's your favorite stroke in swimming? Okay, yeah. so that season, when do they start competition? That uh, first week? It's the week after start, like the next week after start. Yeah, and then state swimming is what, about February or so? I honestly have no idea. I'm not that good of a swimmer, so I'm yeah. <laughs> not that familiar with it. Yeah. Have you swum, swum a long time? Um, I first started my freshman year, so okay. I thought I'd try something new, and it's great cross training. I have right, right, yeah. So, well, great race today, and good luck Thank the rest you. of the season. Thanks. Thanks.